An advocate for women's health care, she shocked a bunch of TV anchors when she took an abortion pill live on the air. So let's check this video out. Taking it myself. You're taking it, are you, you're not pregnant, are you? I would say that this is going to end a pregnancy. That was activist Jex Blackmore, and she was trying to show and spread awareness actually about the pill Mephepristone. I practiced that and I still messed it up. Mephepristone, which is an abortion inducing medication that can be obtained through the mail. So because of this and because of the seemingly outrageous thing that she did and shocked a bunch of people, this was one response from a viewer. Like it's killing her baby on TV. Um, she's upset about the situation, and she decided to film herself being upset about the situation to let people know that she's upset about the situation that happened there on TV. I'm not sure if that's going to change a bunch of minds. Uh, before we get to more, by the way, also part of this issue is that um, it's being uh, it, the FDA has allowed this to be sent via the mail for women that. Uh, are looking to make that choice. So about two weeks after the Supreme Court indicated that it may uphold the Mississippi abortion law, the Biden administration eliminated a long standing rule that the abortion pill medication mephepristone needed to be dispensed in person. Um, did this bring tears to your eyes, Francesca? Yeah, I can't believe it. I mean, I, I think it's great. Look, I also think that she clearly was on a right wing um, like I don't know if that's what which channel that is, what that is. Um, you know, if you have to call your cable provider or if AT and T secretly sponsored that channel. But I like that she's actively trolling right wingers and their feelings about what women do with their own bodies and choosing whether or not they want to be a mother or not or a parent or not. And I think it's really wonderful to show that it is a pill, right? It is not an entire procedure. And this pill as other abortion pills, they're used all around the world is incredibly safe um, and and good for her to do that. Look, I don't think she was actually pregnant. She said this would begin the termination of a pregnancy. Huh. Um, you know, so look, I'm of two minds. Not everyone has to take a lot of people have abortions, so many people have abortions. Not everyone has to take it incredibly gravely and seriously. I think it's false to say most people are horribly stricken when they do have an abortion. But I also think it's false to say that nobody is stricken and takes it solemnly and thinks it's an important you know, moment and necessary moment for them or that they relish in it. No, it takes all kinds. There are all kinds of reactions and attitudes towards one's abortion. The Commonality is, I can't be pregnant. Yeah, and by the way, so we talk about this woman's, the response, woman's video of her showing how upset she was. Now, if people are thinking about the act or the, or the process of, of a woman aborting, then maybe they do respond like this, right? Maybe in real life without the camera in front of them and without for show, um, and they do something like this, right? So if you care that much, how about we take measures and actually look for education and processes to make sure that maybe it happens less. Maybe there's more education on how when even when it comes to, as I mentioned yesterday, it's not just young women that are end up doing having to make this decision. But maybe when that happens, we have more education for those folks that you guys think are the only ones doing this or the only ones that have to make this decision. So. How about we all work to make sure that's the situation? Instead, we need to demonize a group of people and say, you know what they just want to do? No, no, that's actually not the way the decision works. If you speak to someone, then you'll find mm -hmm. out that that's not really the answer. So, um, uh, also by the way, uh, Mephepristone. Let's go to this next option about as far as how uh, it doesn't just like you're not nine months pregnant. It's not about to happen. Uh, Mephepristone is used in conjunction with another drug, uh, Misoprostol. To carry out medical abortions, mephepristone blocks the hormone needed for pregnancy, while misoprostol empties the uterus. The regimen is considered safe within the first 10 weeks of pregnancy, and that's according to the FDA. And um, lastly, uh, that activist said that I would say that this is going to end pregnancy, as you point out, this would be my third abortion, she said. Now, there was one other point about this because there's a bit of a normalization, I think, maybe has to happen. And because we've pushed so much of the 
fear injected to it or oh my God, I can't believe you would do such a thing. When many times this happens, many times, and if you don't see or hear about it, you're not crying or because you didn't, you weren't told or shown, right? Um, and sometimes when you see maybe someone joke about it or someone talk about it as easily and normalized as it was here, I've done it before. Cuz I've seen it, someone joked about it and I went, wow. Now I agreed with what they wanted to do for themselves, but I was taken aback. Because no matter who you are or where your position is, we've all been kind of indoctrinated in this thought process that <clears throat> yeah, but that's her choice, that's her body, you know? Yeah. And that you have to feel a certain way about it, I think is really important. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and true reproductive justice and reproductive health, as friend of TYT Liz Winstead always says, is supporting all pregnancy outcomes, right? And whether that is supporting the decision to terminate a pregnancy or to carry one to term, we need to be supporting, you know, uh, mothers or soon to be mothers and all parents in that decision, no matter what it is. That's reproductive health, right? And so right. getting a pill, in the mail, of course that's reproductive health, why? Because and reproductive justice, because it is so much more equitable than having to you know, te- uh, schedule an appointment, making sure you have certain kinds of health care, maybe traveling miles and miles and miles. And the other thing I'll say, look, this woman saying, oh, this will be my third abortion. Good on you, girl. You know, the Supreme Court's about to strike that down. So, you know, stock up on whatever you need to stock up on. I am not here to judge you. And I am certainly not here. And pro choice, excuse me, pro, not even pro love. I anti choice people sure as hell do not have a place in judging how someone should feel about their abortion. I thought you were against abortion from the beginning. So it doesn't matter if it happens on live TV, if it happens while you're going down a water slide at Raging Waters. Like, I don't care. If you don't, if you're not for choice, why do you care where someone has an abortion? They don't. It's it's a it's a bit of a I'm better than you, um, you know, signal to make sure people may think, yeah, you know, I'm the moral one when we don't know the rest of the things that they're doing doing in their lives that yeah. actually might eliminate that morality, which I know of another pill that men can get through the mail very easily. It yeah. has something to do with sexual health. Maybe God doesn't want you to have children, dude. Maybe that's why your stuff doesn't work. Just saying, if we're talking about what God wants and what he chose for you, why are we looking for medical intervention to make sure you can do the deed? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, wonder.